Welcome to The Dish. I'm your host, Anna Christina. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's fall, y'all. You know, it's my favorite time of the year, and I can't stress it enough. There's always so many fun activities to do with the family, and you know what? If you're running out of ideas, well, we've got you covered because our special guest today, Jacqueline Humble, is joining us to give us all the deets on how to take our fall decor even further. Jacqueline, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you for having me, yeah. Anna. I'm so excited. Absolutely. So this woman right here is so talented. She does so many things. One of the cool things that I love about you is that you actually have your own podcast. Yes. You host it. It's called The Millennial Homemaker. So she's making homemakers out of us today, right? Yeah. Yes, I, uh, we will try. We yes. will try. And you also do beautiful jewelry. I just yes. got to give her a shout out. This is Fraser Lynn. Yes. Oh, that's I my love jewelry it. So beautiful. We're going to talk about that a little bit more yes. later. But let's kick things off. So, what are you going to be doing for us today? Because you you brought a couple of things with <laughs> yes. you. Yes, brought a little a little bit of stuff. Yeah. So we're going to be doing three easy recipes okay. with pumpkin guts. Ooh. So when you carve your jack o' lantern, mm -hmm. and here's an empty jack o' lantern, and you have all these guts, what do you do with them? You throw them away right. or really the only creative thing that I ever see is making pumpkin pie oh, or yeah. maybe roasting the seeds but nothing besides that so today we're going to do three really easy recipes involving Love it. both the seeds and the puree and, and people really don't know what to do I see right. a lot of it thrown away and listen she's going to blow your <laughs> mind with these recipes so we'll start off okay. over here to the left right yeah and I tried this I got a head start <laughs> it is very good so, so what is the process our first recipe is going to be pumpkin seed granola so okay. you're going to want to separate your uh, stringy parts and the fleshy parts mm -hmm. of your guts and you need to roast the seeds. So to roast the seeds, mm -hmm. and this is what they look like after they've been roasted, you just put them on a cookie sheet, roast them for like 20 minutes okay. on 300, and you do not, you want them to dry out, you do not want them to char at all. Okay. And then to make the puree that we'll do later, you're just gonna roast the rest, the strings and the guts for like 20 minutes. Okay, so you do um, use that also? Yes, you use wow. all of it, and then okay. you just puree that. And again, you don't want it to char, we're just trying to cook it through. Right. So for this okay. recipe, we're gonna use um, the, pumpkin seeds and do you want to pour sure. them in okay uh, right here yes yeah. okay and then we have some um coconut oh, my fave chia seeds so this is a pretty healthy recipe yes. too which is good um you can do almonds, almonds you could do oats really any nuts that you have in your pantry is good for this those are pepitas, pepitas. yes yes I'd and love. then flax seeds right and Let's then you mix flax. in a base of either honey or maple syrup. So Sorry this is, uh, yes, a maple syrup that's made with monk fruit, so it's better for you. Okay, and then you just good. mix that together. All right. You just eat it like that. I know, <laughs> it is good. And then you just put it on a cookie sheet like that. And then the only thing that you need to be careful about is to spread out on the cookie sheet so okay. that it all kind of gets roasted. Cooks evenly. Yes. And then again, just put that in the oven on 300 for like 20 minutes. And you don't want it to burn, so and keep a watch on right that. right here yes. is the beautiful end product, yes. which is absolutely fabulous. So I'm just going to take it down here with <laughs> us while you take us into the next recipe. Okay. <laughs> so our next recipe is going to be involved with the pumpkin puree. And again, that's the fleshy part, so you want to mm -hmm. separate the seeds. Okay. Um, and we're going to make a pumpkin seed hummus. Mm. Um, so we're going to put the pumpkin puree Inside in there. Um, and then you're going to put chickpeas, which, okay. have you ever made hummus before? No. Okay, like it's to very buy it, <laughs> easy. It's very easy, and I like making it at home better. Okay. I think it tastes better. So put the chickpeas in. Um, do you want to do the tahini? Sure. Do you know what tahini is? No, explain it to <laughs> okay, me. Okay, so tahini is a sesame paste, and it mm -hmm. honestly tastes like peanut butter, mm. except for instead of peanuts, you're using sesame. Okay. Um, and it's the Are base. Are this? Yes, just mix that kind of in. And then um, add some garlic cloves. Mm -hmm. And I just add them whole because okay. we would um, – put this in a blender, but I we're not going to do that for TV because right. it'd be a little loud. Well, we have it done already, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and then, the end product um, over there. Squeeze some lemon juice. And this seems it. pretty easy, too. It is. It is. And I feel like you can make it as healthy or not mm -hmm. healthy as uh, you want. And I have some spices, of course, for hummus. We want to use cumin, um, some chili powder, some okay. cayenne, lots of salt. And then for the pumpkin hummus, mm. I added some cinnamon because mm. it really picks up that pumpkin flavor and you've kind of yes. uh, tricked flavors to go together if you right. have flavors that are familiar so the I cinnamon's familiar with pumpkin so Perfect. we just put that in and then we would blend that of course and then blend here. it for a while until it's smooth right yes. 
And, and there you go. So I get to try this one too, yes. guys. Yummy. Okay, so what I'm is <laughs> so my crew's laughing at me right now. Pumpkin hummus. And then I just Leave it to the big it. pregnant girl. <laughs> <laughs> I just topped it with some pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. Um that you know you could reuse from when you roast them earlier. Absolutely, so good. And then this last one mm -hmm. is pumpkin butter, right? Yes. So fabulous. Have you made apple butter before? No, girl, you're teaching me all okay. your ways. <laughs> so we're gonna use the pumpkin puree again. Mm -hmm. The um, spiced apple cider. Okay. Some brown sugar. Yeah, I could just eat that with a spoon. Again. <laughs> some lemon some pumpkin seed, mm -hmm. or I mean, uh, pumpkin spice. Okay. And then you mix this together, and if you wanna go ahead and try it, you can. This yeah. is the final product. And you just uh, well, you know. simmer this over the stove. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy until it gets to a good, nice consistency. This looks beautiful. Well, listen, I'm gonna try this too <laughs> during the break because I might make a fool <laughs> of myself. But you guys, don't go anywhere because when we come back, Jacqueline is gonna take it even step, or a step further, yes. I should say, with our fall decor. So we'll be right back. Stay right there. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dish. All right, we've had so much fun on the show with our special guest, Jacqueline Humble. She is the co-host of the Millennial Homemakers podcast, which is so fun. You're giving people all these wonderful <laughs> ideas, just like you did in the kitchen, but now we're moving to fall decor, yes. right? Taking it a step further. Yes, yeah. so this is decorated for Thanksgiving, and we're just gonna show some easy tweaks that you can, or I mean, decorated for Halloween, right, and easy go. tweaks to change it for Thanksgiving. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is switch out the salad or appetizer plate. Okay, these are and so cute. So we'll switch the pumpkin for thankful. Mm -hmm. And then also I have these cute little poppers for Halloween. Let's you can pop out. one if Ooh. you want. Oh, so and they pop. Yes. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and it's just like a trinket. There should out. be like, yeah, little things in it. And I have little I pilgrims. I think I it, right? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> little pilgrims for Thanksgiving. Cute. Um, and then also a really easy thing to do is to trade out your cocktail napkin. So here mm -hmm. I have a Halloween little trade candy for booze, and then I have an oh snap with a witch bone. I love which it. Which is really fun. And you know what's really cool about these little poppers? Did you notice this? What is the monster's favorite bean? A human bean. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so they have jokes and stuff. It's a good yeah, conversational piece. I We've love that. always done that. And then you can also personalize your table with mm -hmm. um, fun little trinkets. And right. one thing that I did here is I am a jewelry designer, and mm -hmm. so I put my bracelet design that I'm wearing. And we're wearing, and you're wearing too, love as that. the napkin ring. So well, this just, is such a good idea. Um, and I think that we were talking during the break that you can actually, if you're hosting a shower or something, mm -hmm. Um, a bridal brunch, you can actually give these away as your thank right. you. Yeah, exactly. So, it's a so cute. Good little favor. And then right. um, also for Thanksgiving, you can take out some of the small pumpkins. I have a lot of pumpkins here because yeah. it makes room for the cranberry, for the gravy. Right, you right. have more things going on for a Thanksgiving meal. So it's just very. It's pretty easy. I love making things seasonal by right. just adding fun little touches. Well, and the good thing about, I think, Halloween and Thanksgiving, there mm -hmm. are so many transitional mm -hmm. pieces. It's just about, you know, taking out the small things right. and then trading them out. This one is probably my favorite. This is so <laughs> cool. And I want to tell people where they can get their hands on Fraser Lynn, the jewelry. Yes. And also, how could they listen in on your podcast? Okay, so you can buy my jewelry at mm -hmm. FraserLynn.com, mm -hmm. and you can listen to the podcast for free on iTunes. Tunes, and it's a once a week show. It's with me and then my co host Jackie, okay. who is located in Adesta. Jacqueline and Jackie. Yes. Get out of yes. here. Yes. My, my alter ego. We <laughs> joke. <laughs> that is so amazing. And so tell us about all the fun things that you're going to be doing this holiday season. Any any big plans? Um, I don't know. I do want to make it to the Biltmore to go see okay. it decorated for Christmas. We Ooh. went, my mom and I went to go see the Chihuly exhibit. So and we hopefully. have to give a shout out to your mom because she's yes. actually in the house. We go to church together. <laughs> together at Warren and she actually motivated you to yes. kind of get into this. Uh -huh, right? For sure, yeah. She uh, is has Cuban heritage, so she's the one who taught me how to cook oh, growing awesome. up, cooking all those Cuban Well, listen, dishes. Mom, you did a wonderful <laughs> job. She really knows what she's doing, and I'm so glad that you're sharing your craft now yeah. with everybody so that they could get in on the fun. Jacqueline, thank you so much for thank joining us. Thank you for us. having me. Yes, it's, it's been, been a so blast. fun. Again, if you want to go and listen to our podcast, you can find the information on the screen. Thank you guys so much for 
for tuning in, but don't go anywhere because when we come back, our fashion expert is joining us to give us a little coaching on fashion, of course. We'll be right back.